Hi, my name is Claire, and in this crash course, we will be talking about pheromones. All right, so in this video, we will be talking about the little psychological idea of pheromones. Essentially, pheromones are chemical substances that are secreted from a body that elicit a response from others and affect those from a specific species. These responses tend to be innate in nature, meaning naturally occurring as opposed to learned. The organ that is responsible for receiving these scents and triggering said responses is the vimer nasal organ or the VNO. It contains receptors that are sensitive to these pheromones and pick up their presence. Though clearly present in animals as it assists with mating processes in wild habitats, the vimer nasal is quite small within humans and it remains uncertain whether it is apart from our sense of smell. This uncertainty makes the extent to which human behavior is affected by pheromones not totally set or established. Although its effect is not definite, research has been conducted on this topic. Wedkin conducted a study on pheromones or linked genes to test whether they affected human mating choice. This study sampled 49 female and 44 male students, all of whom were from different courses from the same university. They were examined in order to establish their major histocompatibility complex or MHC types. Women were additionally asked if they consumed oral contraceptives since it could affect their perception. The men were given a clean, new, 100% cotton t-shirt to wear for two nights and keep it in an open plastic bag when not wearing it. Additionally, the males were asked to keep away from food and activities involving smell and to sleep alone at night. They also received odor-free cleaning materials and deodorant for the time being. Beginning the day after, the women were asked to rate the smell of seven t-shirts on pleasantness on a Likert scale of one to 10. Three had been worn by men with dissimilar MHC, three by men with similar MHC, and one control t-shirt. The study found that women who were not taking the contraceptive pill preferred the t-shirt with dissimilar MHC. However, this result was reversed for women who were taking the oral contraceptive pill and preferred men with similar MHC. These findings provide support for the idea that human selection or mate preference is partially based on selecting partners with dissimilar MHC. This understands that pheromones do play a role in human attraction and can have an effect on an individual's behavior. However, the nature and scope of this study do not allow for generalization to all situations or people. It does, however, raise preliminary concern that oral contraceptives may have side effects not well understood or known by prescribers. Wedkin's research does provide support for the idea that pheromones do affect human behavior, though further examination will help for the full understanding of this concept. That concludes this crash course on pheromones. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.